But, uh, but we, I mean, we, you talk about being away from home for that, for that long, Bonnie. Um, I can recall a couple of um, quite interesting uh, tours that we had over the years. Um, were there, were there any tours that, that sort of sticks out for you that, that you really enjoyed? Um, you know, maybe celebrations post the game or anything like that? Or were they all pretty much the same? Johnny, uh, I think people always ask us sort of what are the things you miss most about rugby? And uh, I think they all expect us to say playing, but you know, we, we were fortunate to play for a long time. Um, I mean, you even with all your injuries, you know, you got to 100 tests. You probably would have got 200 if you didn't have all those injuries. But that's not really the thing that that that, that I miss. I think the thing that I miss is really the camaraderie and the and the, the stuff that we did on the bus, in the pubs. You know, the pranks that we pulled. But yeah, I mean, we've had some amazing tours. Uh, if I think about it, what's that Irish pub in Auckland that always got us, we always got stuck in Danny, Danny Doolin. Danny Doolin's, <laughs> and we always had Shameless on the guitar. Yeah, I've always, always had a theory about this. There's, there's a couple of pubs around the world that I think employ the same system as, as, as Las Vegas, where they pump the oxygen in to keep you going, like to get the vibe and get your energy up. And uh, Danny, that, that place was one of them. Um, there was quite a few of those on that Surface Paradise strip as well that, that seemed to keep us longer than we probably should have stayed. Um, and then think about it in, in, our, in, our, in our guess in, in our earlier days, from 04, 05-ish, we used to have some very interesting and aggressive team dinners on a Tuesday night that used to end quite late. Um, and the biggest challenge was to make sure that we weren't followed by press so that no one could know how late we were out until that night in case we lost the test match on the weekend. So, yeah, I mean, there have been some amazing uh, uh, tours. But, yeah, I think if if I read into your eyes, your eyes there has to be a mention of that night in Hamilton after the uh, Tri Nations victory uh, when we beat the All Blacks for the third time in a row. I'm not sure you were really much wasn't about alluding, that. I wasn't <laughs> alluding to that one. Um, but yeah, I can't actually recall it that much. But I've got some really cool pictures from that night. Uh, if I recall, you did an amazing rendition of the Haka. I remember that very, very well. <laughs> Strapped up ears back. <laughs> I reckon we can share some of those photos, Barney. I think it's time. We also, in 2011, we had to make our way from Auckland to Wangarai. No, Taupo. Taupo. Sorry, to Taupo. Taupo. Um, and we were in that little bus where we dubbed Gert Oosthuis in for various reasons. He looked quite similar. Uh, um, and Pierre Spies was our designated driver. And we basically stopped in every single town, every single pub. We even stole a little cone for a funnel which later got taken back. Do you remember? Because we stole several of those cones. Uh, who stole the first one? Wasn't it, wasn't it Butch? Probably Butch James. It was a good one, for Butch James. I never stole one. I was sitting in the middle. Uh, and then you remember when the cop stopped us? Yeah. So I'm sitting, I think, in the second uh, last row of the combi, and uh, there's this cone. Like, being trying to, there's, Victor's trying to hide the cone underneath his very skinny legs. Um, so basically, you can see the entire cone. And the cop goes to Pierre and says, have you guys been stealing speed cones or warning cones, whatever they call it? And Pierre, bless him, a man of the cloth, um, couldn't lie. He says, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember? So they stopped. So they literally, they literally put that roadblock started that roadblock be because of someone behind us, driving behind us, phoning the police and saying there's a white combi and Picking people are cones. just stealing the, the traffic codes off the street. So they, they had this roadblock and then, and then we, were, we were stuck there. But eventually we got out and as the guys started walking out, then the police officers saw, oh, John Smith, Skull Burger, Victor Madfield. I, I, and we ended up taking I, photos, photos with the police officers. I, I remember you were going, the, the, the bloke was going. You've been stealing road cones? And he went, Ark, me, <laughs> Pierre Spies, John Smith, Skaltberger, Victor Madfield, Ferru de Freer, Danny Rousseau, Butch James, and Willem then <laughs> Willem Alberts. And then the whole thing just turned around. Eh? And, you, and you know, obviously, who was behind us that bust us in the car behind us? No. Bryce Lawrence. <laughs>